Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to the next video. This time, it's my uh, review of the uh, Ani Adnes or Adidas. Uh, sorry if I crucified the name, but this is the uh, Crystal Cube AI Mar 3 case. It's got full ventilation at the front. It's got ventilation on the top. It's got included five RGB fans. Comes with a RGB controller as well as a remote, which it has about 25 different types of RGB effects to the range of basic RGB to everything, ring light going around, everything. It's, it's quite crazy how many uh, modes there are on this controller, but overall, this is my review of it. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to them for sending it out to uh, look at, and if you want to see the unboxing, I will put it up by here. First of all, this is a cube case. It's my first type cube case, and it's a dual chamber case. So, it what that means is the motherboard one side and the power supply is the other. So, it's better for direct airflow to your like graphics card and your CPU. Be careful what height CPU cooler you have because it does not support the biggest. And something like from Silentium PC, the uh, 45, that is a very tall B air cooler, so it won't fit that. I did try, and it just barely fits the PLS Assassin, so it's quite cramped that way. But overall, it's a nice case. Right, so I've got benchmarks now to show you, and what well, they primarily thermal based mar uh, benchmarks. Like, there's GPU as well as CPU load benchmarks. is to see what the case is capable of. If it is capable of actually cooling down your computer. Now, overall, the case thermals were okay. So, for 3D Mark, I did Fire Strike as well as Time Spy. Because it hits both at the, at the certain parts in the test. So, for the CPU idles were 33 Celsius. And the idle of the GPU was 35 the max the CPU hit was 50 Celsius. The max the GPU hit was 47. 3D Mark times by the CPU idle was 29. The GPU idle was 26. No, sorry, 25. The max the CPU hit was 50 Celsius once again. And the max the GPU hit was 44 Celsius. And for the other tests I did, I did CSGO, that was for about 10 to 15 minutes, so it gives CPU as well as GPU enough time to heat up. The idles were 28, the of the CPU, idles of the GPU was 34, the max was a 60, sorry, a 43 on the CPU, and a 49 on the GPU. Now I included Fermark because you can do individual testing. So you can test the CPU on its own and you can test the GPU by itself. So what I did is I ran the CPU and the GPU benchmarks separately, but they were both run for 10 minutes. So the CPU idles were 29 and the max on the CPU was a 64, which is gonna be expected. It's a very heavy bound CPU test pattern. The GPU idles were 36, the max was a 40, 48 celsius and that was the max it hit and that was for a full 10 minutes so generally the thermals were good size that's a good good thing so it's a pro so it's really quite small that's why i've set up like a monitor and stuff so you guys can see what it looks like on a desk as you can see it doesn't take up a lot of room sides are tempered glass as i mentioned it's more of like a, tint, a tinted tempered glass that's on the, the power supply side Primarily to hide cables because there's not a lot of room for cable management unless you're creative, of course. The front that supports EATX, but it only supports standard e EATX. You can get motherboards that are XL EATX, which are a little, a, a little bit longer. That they won't fit in here. As far as the temper glass, well, as you can see, look, the inside looks beautiful. It full of RGB, as I do love. Uh, I love RGB, as you, as you primarily know, you know, I'm RGB snob. So, like I said, it's got about 25 different kinds of themes. Mine at the moment is just a basic RGB, but I have tested it. But that's there, the pros, the cons are, so the cons. Cons, there's no room at the bottom to put in the USB or the, like, the front panel headers in the front, on the, on the bottom of the motherboard. There's no actual room for that, so you've got to try and... Kind of get it through the grommets that are already on the set. In my opinion, that looks a bit. Uh, 
You see, I, I, what I've done is I've just routed it by them, put it like that. Now, obviously, it's not going to look the cleanest, but what they could have done is because there's a lot of room on top uh, of the motherboard tray, what they could have done is perhaps a little bit higher, maybe a mil or so a higher, just to put a little bit of a cut to the bottom, just to so you could route those cables. I don't know, it was really easy to work in. The only thing I didn't like really were what is the power supply side. Now, it does support long power supplies. Uh, there's not a lot of room at the back for cables because the included controller is kind of full of cables. So, <laughs> and then, you know, it's up to you really if it's a project and you want to take your time doing it, then obviously you could get it perfectly, but obviously I didn't. So basically, would I recommend it? I mean, if you're looking for this type of case, then yes. I mean, like I said, it's got full f uh, filtration on the front, the top. You know, it's a nice form factor. Uh, it's basically, it reminds me of the Lee and Lee Dynamic, the small version. That's what it reminds me of because it's the first cube case I've ever looked at. Overall, it's a good case. You know, if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link down below. And pretty much, if you've got any other more questions, please hit me down in the comments. I will always reply to uh, anyone. To make sure that I'm helping someone. So other than that. Thank you for listening. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I honestly hope you have a very good day. See you in the next one.